There are many designs of simple drive circuits and it is probably worth trying out different types to see which works best with your particular build of motor. In the same way, there are many kinds of collection circuits for taking off some of the, ex some of the excess power generated. The most simple of these is just a diode bridge, perhaps feeding a battery and charging it up for use at a later time. If you get sophisticated with the collection circuit and just take power off for a very short period of time at the correct moment, the cutting off of the current draw causes a back EMF magnetic pulse in the collection electromagnet which causes it to give the rotor an extra drive push, both current collection and rotor drive in one combined package. Following footsteps, on July 5, 1995, Floyd Sweet suffered a fatal heart attack at the age of 83. A couple of weeks before his death, Sweet said that the automotive industry was testing his power, his power unit for use in cars, and that they had a unit running for 5,000 hours. He said he was dealing with people at General Motors, but no one has been able to confirm Sweet's claims. The VTA itself is bogged down in legal problems. But Tom Bearden, who put much of his own time and money into the project, hopes that the VTA can be resurrected so that the world will realize what a pioneer Floyd Sweet was. And despite the confusion surrounding Sweet's affairs at the time of his death, other researchers are continuing this line of research. Confusion and secrecy. The automotive industry may not have been the only potential investor that Sweet was dealing with. At the time of his death, there was some confusion concerning the rights to Sweet's hardware and papers, held by Sweet's second wife, Violet. Bearden says that Sweet signed a number of agreements with a number of backers, and that some of these people have claimed rights to the invention. At least two of these investors say they want Sweet's laboratory equipment, inventions, and technical papers to go into AP Ropost Floyd Sweet Museum so that other researchers could study the technology. Walter Rosenthal is trying to help all parties work towards an agreement. Despite Bearden's urging, Sweet never had the VTA certified by independent testing. He feared that his life would be snuffed out immediately if he even attempted such a thing, Bearden says.